Hey, what's good, y'all? Fusion here, back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Get Up. Um, Lakers played last night. Uh, the first regular season NBA games, opening night, all that. Um, first, I do want to talk about the Knicks real quick. Uh, the Knicks versus the Celtics. Um, Celtics won. <laughs> it wasn't even that close. Um, Celtics won 132 to 109. Um, Celtics ain't missing no threes. Jason Tatum had 37. He went 8 for 11 from the three. Derek White, he had 24. He went 6 for 10 from the three. Drew Holiday, he had 18. He went 6 for, I mean, 4 for 6, excuse me, at the three. Jalen Brown had 23. He went five for nine from the three. Let me see exactly how many threes and their three point percentage. Um, they're just knocking them down, bro. Um, the Celtics in total. So 61 threes. Made 29 of them. They shot 48%. Um, first game, not much that you can really talk about with the Celtics and uh, the Knicks. It seems like the Knicks are missing, at least uh, early on. Uh, but a lot of their offensive uh, scoring, um, from what Kyle Anthony Towns did when he was playing with the uh, Wolves. I mean, at 12 and 7, not horrible, but you need more if you are going to win more games. Um, but overall, I, I, I think that the Celtics just had a really, really great game. Um, On to the Lakers. Lakers versus the Wolves. Lakers won 110 to 103. Um, we, as in the Lakers, we came out early. Getting offensive rebounds. High energy. Taking good shots. We ended the night. 16% um, from the three. Five for 30. Same old shit. We cannot hit threes. We still take them. End up missing them. Whatever. Our main point here that I definitely want to talk about is early on, uh, we had great offensive rebounds. We ended with 15 offensive rebounds and uh, to 12 offensive rebounds. Um, early on, that was our, our thing here where you're Getting good rebounds, we're fighting for fighting for position early and getting those those um, those offensive rebounds for more shot attempts. That is how we won this game. Uh, we shot the ball ninety five times uh, to their eighty five times, seventeen fast break points uh, to seven, um, nineteen points off of turnovers to their nine points. Overall, we got out and ran. I think that is what we are choosing to do as far as our um, team identity. I, I think we do well with running. That being said, give it up for Anthony Davis. 36 and 16, three blocks. He shot 48% from the field. Not much more that you can ask from him. He was there. He was he was altering shots. He was doing what he does best. He was killing Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert had no answer for him. First of all, Rudy Gobert has no lateral quickness. Um, um, Anthony Davis took advantage of that, as well as him shooting that mid-range shot when it was there. Um, he only took two threes. Made one, missed one. Not mad at that. Anything under three or four attempts is perfect. There should be no reason, especially how he was playing and how he should be continuing to play, should be taking more than three or four threes. One or two is fine. You hit one. Everything else should be post up or face up, mid range or the box. That should be his main stuff. Um, 
Jackson Hayes. I talked about it before. Um, his whole job is to be athletic, get in the way, get rebounds, catch lobs. My expectations are for him, seven points a game, five to six rebounds, and a few blocks. What he had. Um, he played 15 minutes, 10 points, 4 rebounds, 1 block, 4 for 5 from the field. Great game uh, from him. I think that what he showed is exactly what he should be doing damn near every night. I said this once, and I said this again. Um, how his scoring breakdown should be. He should be able to get at least 4 to 6 points off of straight athleticism. That is, catching a lob. A garbage bucket um, and then he has at least two or three buckets called right place right time bus buckets where LeBron passes you pass you the ball right under the basket and you catch it and score or off of a, um, a broken up play and then you catch up and score so realistically he should be able to get the seven points he should be able to but he got 10, and he showed exactly how he got that. Catching lobs, offensive rebounds, right place, right time buckets. If if he can continue to do that, that will help us out quite a bit. Because our bench scoring, besides... Um, actually, yeah. Just our bench scoring. He had 10 points off the bench. And our next highest scorer off the bench was Connect with 5 points. Um... He played 15 minutes. Bronny had about three minutes. I could see him getting more minutes uh, next game. Gabe Vincent, 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. Max Christie, 2-2. Two, and two. He, um, he was fouling a lot. He had, what, five fouls. Uh, LeBron, he ended the night 16-5-4 with two blocks, one for four from the three. Rui Hachimura, he was very aggressive. I liked how he played. He was getting into the paint. He was hitting mid-range jump shots. 18 and 5. Two steals, one block. Uh, defensively, he was playing well. Um, Austin Reeves, 12 and 9. 0 for 5 from the 3. You Usually, uh, you could expect him to hit at least 2. So you add 6 points onto that. That's about 8. But still... 18 points, but still not or horrible showing. I think this was more so seeing what, what weaknesses the, um, Timberwolves have their offensive half court is atrocious. A lot of the times it's Anthony Edwards one-on-one -on -one in people, um, or Julius Randle putting his shoulder down. And just going in. Um, Rudy Gobert, 13 and 14. That's not a horrible stat line, but for who he is, for what he is, he shouldn't be putting up Zubak numbers. Ain't no fucking way. Defensively, he was getting bodied. Um, he had that one block, but he only altered a few shots, I should say. Overall, I think that they're definitely missing out on another score in the half court. I don't think that um, Julius Randle is that guy. I did feel like he was rushing a lot of his layups, a lot of his shots. Um, he still had 16, 5 for 10 from the field, um, 1 for 3 from the 3. Overall, I think he needs to be at that 20, 23 point range to be um, that second option to where that what they were missing with Cat isn't. I think they're on par. Let me start there. I think the Julius Randle and Cat are even as far as what they do. Oh, they do it differently, but it's still about the same. Um, Cat ceiling, I think, is a bit better. But Julius Randle's motor is way better than Cat. Cat's motor, as far as 
wanting to get into the mix, um, trying to get offensive rebounds, driving to the basket. Um, his drive may look ugly as fuck, but he's still going to the basket. It's odd that they added someone who is more willing to go to the basket when they already have um, Rudy Gobert clogging the paint. So I wonder if they were wanting a more sh sh shooting, more shooting focused big. And they got Julius Randle, Mike Conley. Um, I think he has his work cut out for him. He has to find a way to make that work as well. He can't go one for seven. For one for seven for from the field, 0 for five from the three. Um, he's gonna need to do more to help out this team, especially during or especially in the half court. That being said, first game, um, it's really just a fill out game. See what you have, see what you don't have, see what, what you can work on. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it on the game breakdown itself. I will say, get the Lakers fought. I do wish that they could make some more threes or make a three, but other than that, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I don't think 110 is enough to be competitive still, but the Knicks scored 109, and that was against a better team, I should say, with the Celtics. So if we can get that number up, to one, one fifteen, then I think we'll be way more competitive than what we are. But it's still early. We're still seeing what we can do and can't do to improve. It may just be needing a different, uh, needing more shooters. Need someone who can knock down shots. There were times where we were having an offensive lull where we couldn't find a basket. That is when we would need a shot creator or someone who is um, can create for themselves and sort of push like to make us better there. Um, well, that's all I got f got for the breakdown. Let's go ahead and see what Get Up has to say. In history, LeBron James and his son. Bron and shout out to Bronny. Getting ready to play together and Bron. in an NBA game. Ken Griffey Jr. and Senior were there. The James family was there, and here's the moment. All ready? Get an intensity, right? Just play carefree, though. Don't worry about mistakes. Just go out and play harder. And there it is, Jay Will. Four minutes before the half. LeBron and Bronny checking in together. You know, Bree, the moment for me in this game was, was, was where LeBron James had a baseline slam and they started running towards each other and they were lost in competition. And this is the moment right here that really epitomizes what this means. Both guys have an innate ability. I'm just glad that they got this done in the first game uh, so we don't got to worry about this anymore. Um, you know, shout out to Bronny and Bron. This is a big, big moment for them. Um, for us as well in the NBA family, whatever. We need to see what's going on with the game itself. This was such a small point in the game. Um, show, uh, but like provided very little to no impact into the game itself as far as scoring, as far as rebounding. Um, LeBron threw him one pass and he missed the three, uh, Bronny. But like the three wasn't a bad shot, he just missed it. So it's just, you know, like, what's the point of us having to hone in on this for one minute? Should be just a quick, quick comment, quick video showing like what happened. Then move on. Those are my thoughts, personally. Of the game, and that's who they both are as players. And it's a remarkable moment. Le Bronny would not hit a shot. He attempted two of them. Here's a three. The crowd wanted it so badly. It wasn't to be. Bronny uh, finishes no points, one rebound for his performance. In the meantime, the reality is from a basketball standpoint and... So fourth quarter, uh, we were up by 20, I think, at one point. Minnesota sort of brought it back. We were missing or taking way too many threes where we should have kept on doing what we have been doing, just going in, feeding it to AD, let... 
um, AD go one on one with um, Rudy Gobert and just kill him from there. Um, but we're seeing the same mistakes as we did last year. Not making threes, taking threes, but not making them. Not making wide open jump shots. Um, questionable heat checks when you're not heated up. <laughs> I, I, yeah. So, interesting stuff all around the board there. But, we came out with a W. Let's go ahead and see what happened. Anthony Davis was the story of this game. Well, he was prioritized. And, and big shout out, even though it was one game that J.J. Redick on the schemes, the continuity, the way they ran the offense, it ran through Anthony Davis. Is it sustainable for 82 games? That's the question. He has 36 points, 16 rebounds. Lakers get the win. But after all the conversation was about the fans. See, there's no point for this to happen. All right. Yes, it was a great showing. Shout out to Bronny. Shout out to LeBron. Said this earlier. The only problem is they weren't the reason that we won this game. The reason we won the game was we stuck to the game plan, which should have been the game plan for a few years now. Make AD the focal point on the offense. We're not doing that 100% of the time. We're doing it some nights. Some nights he gets all the touches. Sometimes he gets no touches. Some nights it's just uh, bad shots. Sometimes it's just bad positioning. A lot of the time, that's just what's going on. Until we can... Until we can 100% say that the game plan is... For him to stay involved, to stay scoring, uh, to stay finding um, a way to stay on the board, then there should be no reason that we have a Bronny and LeBron James conversation. Really, this should have been an AD conversation. Um, that being said, great showing for game one. We should a. Um, LeBron will need to score more than 16 uh, for us to be competitive, but it's still early. It is still early. Um, let's go ahead and continue. See what else. Up to that sports table, my dad checking in for the first time. That's a, that's a crazy moment I will never forget. You know, for me, I, I lost a lot of time because of this league and committing to this league, being on the road at times, missing a lot of his things, Bryce's things, Jerry's things. So to be able to have this moment where I'm working still and I can work alongside my son, it's uh, one of the greatest gifts I've ever got from the man above, and I'm going to take full advantage of it. It's really hard to know exactly what to say about that, right? You're a father, I'm a father. I mean, yeah. we both sort of appreciate um, what he's saying, and, and uh, I, I thought to its best, right? On James and his family, see what happens out west. There was another game last night. Knicks. Damn, so they really talked about just that and barely touched on the fourth quarter. Anyway, um, you know, that's pretty much all I got. Um, again, it's still early to really talk about the Lakers ceiling, what they can do to work on, what they need to work on. But I think we saw what our weaknesses are and what they have been for these past few years. Can we adapt and realize that we are not a three-point three point shooting team? So we need to make plays to where um, we focus in on that half court? Or are we actively trying to get three-point shooters? LeBron plays the best when there are three-point shooters around him. And can consistently hit the three after, after a drive. Cam Reddish didn't play. Um, I don't know if he's hurt or not, but he needs to learn how to hit some threes. Bronny, I need you to learn how to knock down some threes. Uh, be consistent from there. Connect. Once you get more minutes, I'm sure we, we will see him hit more threes. Either way, that, that was the biggest thing that we're missing. That is 
the biggest thing that we've been missing until we figure that out, I think we're still going to struggle and have another uh, year where we don't meet where we think we should be as far as the expectation. That being said, JJ Redick brought a fire to this team. I think uh, during the game, I think they said that the Lakers haven't won an opening night came in a minute. Um, I don't remember exactly, but not a bad showing, not a bad showing at all. Some things we can clean up, but at the end of the day is game one. We won game one. We, we can build off of this. So let's continue to build like, comment, subscribe. Thank you uh, first for all of our new subscribers. Uh, we are a couple subscribers off of 7.30, so go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we have a uh, stream coming at 7.50. We'd love to hit that number and for you guys to drop by. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.